could do with another five bob's worth of pennies in here. I'm not so happy about the sixpences either. Now, I'll get them when I've finished here. I'd forgotten it was started there. Have you opened up yet? Opened up? We've been opened up for ages. Hey, it's that kitchen clock. It stopped again, you know. Oh, it gets me in a proper muddle. Well, we must get another, then. Get another? What do you mean? Have you forgotten who gave us that clock? I know, Joan, but the fact remains... Choose who gave it to us, it's no blooming good. I don't know, you can say that, Jack Walker. It's a very good clock indeed. All it requires is a bit of mending. If there's anything about you, you'd see to it. Oh, I don't take it to will, then. You'll do nothing of the sort. You'll take it to a proper jeweller's in town. It'll cost more. I'd have you know there are some things that can't be measured in money, and that clock happens to be one of them. There's little enough good we've got left of our Jones. Nah, the nah. least we can do is to take care of what we are There's got. no need to go on like that. You're not the only one who misses her, you know. Yes, well, I didn't mind so much when she went off to college. Ah, you know, very well you did. You wept at least a bucket full. Well, it didn't seem as final as this. Hey, hey, she's not been carted off, you know. She's only been wed. She's not out in Australia like a lot of other folks as kiddies are. She's not but a car, by the way. I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. Come on, let's see that sweet smile again. Go on, you big soft thing. Where have all the trade gone to? Oh, well, it's early yet. Oh, it's been a bit slack lately, anyway. Ah, oh, it'll be more slack if they pull Coronation Street down. Hey, you talk like a Inner Sharples. Pull Coronation Street down and I've heard such nonsense in my life. Well, they're taking it very serious down the street. I wonder if old Tatlock's heard of you. Well, it's to be hoped so, because I want to put an end to all this talk. Well, it's all right to talk like that, you know, I know. But there are places round here, slices, that used to be even with folk that looked like a desert. Mm, good riddance to most of it, too. Oh, I dare say you're right in the manner of speaking, but we lost a good few customers, you know. I, there's some that like to stick to what they know best. Yeah, well, if we all felt like that, we'd still be living in caves, wouldn't we? Hey, you're hard not to crack, Annie. Oh, no, I'm not. I just prefer to face facts, that's all. Well, and you'll have to face the fact of this place coming down, because if they do pull the street down, there'll be no sense in leaving us standing. I suppose you think you could retire, then? Oh, well, that's not a bad idea. You know, my old dad used to say, there's no in licensing trade but hard work. Oh, and by gum, he was right and all. Oh, well, it depends what you mean by hard work, doesn't it? Some folks' ideas on the subject of hard work are different to others. Anyway, I can tell you this. It'll be many, many years before Coronation Street disappears. Oh, I happen you're right. Thank you all. They promised to deliver that hardboard this morning without fail. Now it shall be held up all week. It's right maddening to not be able to get on with it. Well, it'll do good to have a rest. Mm. Oh, Frank, what's the time? Twenty six, long. Oh, is that all? Well, I suppose as soon as I'm going to have a rest, I'd better start painting that back door tomorrow. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> I meant it as a joke, love. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, I wonder what time he'll get back. He'll not be coming home yet a while. They've got over 60 miles to come, you know. Is he likely to go as far as that every week? You see a damn sight more of Lancashire than ever I've seen. He's not in some, some club set in the amateur league, you know. They travel around a bit. There's a chap at our work who's once had a, a weekend in Paris, and he, he's always telling me that travel broadens the mind. I told him, I said, well, as far as I can see, the only thing that travel broadens is your backside from sitting too long. Oh, no, Frank. <laughs> Well, I mean, all this time wasted sitting in a bus. Well, you know you would like to go with him. I'd like to see him play, if that's what you mean. Well, you'd have to watch him next week. Ah, just my luck, isn't it? First game the last play, and it's away from home. Oh, well, cheer up, love. Mm, well, I mean, I'm trying to think what a good thing it'll be for our I'm trying, but I'm not getting very far. True was it all came too soon. We didn't have time to think. Now, I know a chap, you know, that uh, knows a fellow that plays for the Latex. Now, if only I could have had a little chat with him. Well, why don't you, then? Hey, it's too late now, love. Oh, I don't see why it should be. You, you know what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the lad's future. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, it's all right for the time being, but how's it all going to finish up when he's got past it? Oh, that's a long time off, anyway. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Just because it seems a long time off, I think it'll never get here. But you know what, love? I mean, another ten years from now, we'll all be a lot older. Oh, will we? I'll never have thought it. <laughs> it's all very well for you laughing, but you know what I mean. Well, I don't see why you shouldn't see the chap you were telling me about if it's going to make you any happier. Look, David would never forgive me if I put a spanner in the works at this stage. Oh, yes, he would. How do you know? Because I know our David. You know, even when he was a little lad, he'd, and you were around, he'd never go out on his own, not like our Kenneth would. He used to think you were his private property. It was always, Dad says this and Dad says that. 
Oh, I've had them right tussles, as they might tell you. Everything his dad said was gospel. <laughs> Aye. You know, I didn't find that out until quite late. <laughs> if I'd have known, then I'd have been a bit more careful what I said. <laughs> oh, you were a grand little lad. What do you mean he were a grand little lad? He still is, and he's not so little either. Oh, well, he'll always be like that to me. You know, it's hard to think of him throwing balls around with a, a lot of men. He'd better not be throwing balls around, love. He's not playing rugby, you know, he's playing soccer. Oh, well, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, do you believe that there's something about the match in the Aye, there might be. Uh, oh, well, where can I tell you? No, no, you have your rest. You'll find him outside Rovers. Return. And now, to hear about the Wolves' Arsenal match, we take you over to our Birmingham studio. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We don't seem to be able to get through. Yeah, yeah, give it here. I'll find it. No, you won't. Mm. No, you're looking in the wrong place. I'll be down at the bottom of the page, yeah. Oh, is this it? County A, lead at interval. Oh, that'll be it. Hmm. Ah, let's give it here. Oh, what a measly little bit. Well, there's other first division match, you know. Yes, see. Well, what's the matter? Listen to this. County's defence stood up to every pressure in the opening phases of the game. The home team weakened and newcomer David Barlow netted in the 31st minute. What does it mean, netted? It means he scored a goal, though. He never... Aye. Newcomer David Barlow netted in the 31st minute. <laughs> I think we can forgive the players in this afternoon's Burnley's first class if they feel the same way. It was really a battle of the giants. Do you want this? Asked, no, and thank you. It served its purpose. You want? It has served its purpose. Do you want? It has served its purpose. Almost looking from the main stand as one. off to? There and back to see how far it is. What do you want to know for? I don't want to know. I'm just making polite conversation. Well, you're wasting your time. As a matter of fact, there's a bit of a do from the work. One of the girls is off to Australia. To Australia? Yes, that's where the kangaroos come from, in case you don't know. Some folk have all the luck. Hey, I don't suppose you want a male escort for trips, smashing Luke in, E-man type. No charge except fur and pocket money. Well, she might, but I don't think her husband would like it very much. Who is this specimen, anyway? Sounds to me like a right smart aleck. I want to mind what you're saying, you do. What would you do in Australia, anyway? Get away from this place for a start. Ah, well, you're born 100 years too late. 100 years ago, and they'd given you a free passage. A free... What do you mean, a free passage? Hey, where's my eyebrow pencil? Have you seen it? What would I want with an eyebrow pencil? I'm beginning to wonder. Is that it? It is. I thought you said you hadn't seen it. Well, I couldn't find anything else. I used it to take results down for radio. May I ask you where you found it? I just picked it up. Just picked it up. In my handbag, for instance. Oh, I've told you. I just picked it up. And I said in my handbag, for instance. No. Don't bother to deny it. I know where it was, so why don't you just admit it? All oh, right, I found it in your handbag. So what? Look, I came in here just as results were starting. I couldn't find a pencil. I thought you might have one in your handbag. Well, I found that. So what? Oh, I don't know. I don't mind you bother with these football pools. Oh, you didn't say that when you wanted to come in with us. Sheer waste of time, if you ask me. Oh, so it's a sheer waste of time, is it? Well, I suppose that means you'd like to chip out, then. I didn't say that. Oh, well, if you think it's a waste of time, I wouldn't bother if I were you. Well, I never heard of anybody I know winning anything on football pools. Well, you're hearing something new, then, aren't you? What do you mean, something new? I've won tonight, third dividend. Go on. It's right. Well, how do you know? How do I know? I've checked it. How do you think I know? The syndicate. Well, I can't afford to do me on as well. Of course it's a syndicate. Well, how much? I don't know how much it is. It depends how many share in. Well, how much is there to share? Altogether. Oh. A couple of hundred thousand or so. A couple of... Hey, you want to be careful what you're saying. You'll have me busting a strap. When do we know for certain? Luke, I don't get all this wee business. It's very nice of you to be interested Just in Just a minute. Did I or did I not chip in with the syndicate with you? Oh, are you chipped in all right? What you didn't do was pay me last Thursday half a dollar, remember? Do you mean... If you put out in, you're getting out out. You trying to do me out of me winnings? You don't have any winnings. Then what has winnings is then what's put in. Well, I forgot. Why didn't you ask me? I don't have time to go around asking folks. Well, I think it's a bit much. Trying to do me out of me, out of me winnings. Your own mother, after all I've done for you all these years. Yes, now, do we? Me, I'm not the only one. What did all the others say? Oh, how could you? All over half a dollar. Oh, aye, but we're supposed to won 50,000. That's a bit more than half a dollar, isn't it? Well, I'll give it you now. It's pay in advance. I've already told you. We put it in last Thursday. And you're telling me that you didn't put it in for me? Well, you don't deserve it, that's all I can say. You did put it in. I knew you would. I'll not do it again, mind you. It's cash on the nail in future. Oh, here, I'll give it to you now. Half a dollar. Five bob. Oh, I forgot. Look, here's ten. Look, I haven't got no change. I've got to dash him in hurry. And if we don't have a good time tonight, well, it won't be my fault. Woo! Here, wait on. Uh, 
Yes, good evening, Jack. Well, hello, Mr. Tatlock. It's not often we have the pleasure of your company. No, oh, I thought I'd just stop in for a minute. Uh, just for the walk, eh? <laughs> About 20 yards is a walk when you get to my age, you know. Uh, Anyhow, I thought it'd make a bit of a change, if you know what I mean, like. Ah, uh, well, what you having? Half a bit of... No, I think I'd like a drop of rum, if you don't mind. I've got a bit of a cold coming on. Takes a bit of beat in a drop of rum, uh. especially for a cold. Like a drop of hot water, will you? See, that's just the job if it's no trouble. No trouble at all. Annie, drop of hot water for Mr. Tatlock. It's a bit quiet, isn't it, Jack? Aye, oh, Annie, we were only saying so a while back. Well, you've heard no from council yet, I suppose. Well, as a matter of fact, that's just what I really popped in about. You see, I thought perhaps you'd be able to pass it on better than me, seeing as I don't get around so much these days. What have they said, then? Well, to tell you the truth, they haven't said no. I just sent this card. <laughs> just to let you know they've got it, eh? What you might call a formal acknowledgement of receipt. But don't worry, there'll be something doing before long. And, and if there isn't, I propose we get hold of one at town council, as that'll still start things moving. I'll hang on to this and pass it round then, shall I? I think perhaps it might be best. Good evening, Mr. Tatlock. Good evening, It's a long Mr. time since you were around. Ah, oh, it's quite a while. I was just saying so to Jack here. <laughs> Haven't you heard from the council yet? Ah, uh, they've sent him this. Oh, really? I suppose they send one to everybody, automatic like, eh? Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Well, how are you keeping then, Mr. Tatlock? Well, I've got a bit of a cold coming on. Apart from that, I mustn't oh. grumble. Can I have a bit of an orange, please? I'm oh. sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to dash off somewhere, you know, and I've just fancied a drink. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, Mr. Tatlock? Same as you, it looks of it. <laughs> Well, you're looking as though you're going somewhere special. As a matter of fact, I am. It's a do from work. One of the girls is off to Australia. And while I'm about it, what are you having? Oh, we don't usually, you know. Well, it's a special occasion. It's a celebration. I've come up on the pool. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. Honestly, Dennis and me in, in a syndicate at work. And oh. you know, for two weeks running, I forgot to put me half dollar in. And he put it in without as much as a murmur. Well, there's not many as would have. Without as much as a murmur. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so like this for years. Oh, well, come on, well, 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 Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? She's come up on the pools at Elphick Tanner. Can he credit it? I ask it. Can he credit it? Mm. Some people have all the luck. Luck it may or may not be. I wonder how much she's won. I didn't hear it mentioned. No, not you like to. Take it from me. I don't know about it, I'm sure. I don't think she'll care what happens to Coronation Street, but I know if it were me, I'd be worried. Well, it isn't you, is it? It doesn't concern you, but it does concern me. And I didn't remember anybody showing me that car that old Tatlock brought in. But did they ask you for that meeting, Ina? What meeting? Oh, she knows nothing about a meeting. Well, I just heard there was going to be one. Well, you heard right. What else did you hear? Well, I did hear as how you was turned away, but I couldn't rightly believe that. I should say not, indeed. Minnie Caldwell? Where is the Blood Tidings Hall situated? In Coronation Street, Ina. All right. It's in Coronation Street. Now tell me, who lives in the Blood Tidings Hall? You do, Ina. Right again. Go up to the top of the class and give the pens out. But what's it all about? What's it all about? I'll tell you what it's all about. I'm a resident of Coronation Street and have a right to know what's going on. And what are you smiling at, Martha Longhurst? Uh, nothing. I, I, I was just thinking. Well, don't. As I said, I have a right to know what's going on. They insinuated that I was interfering. Interfering, I like to know. And they about waking up any fine morning and find myself without a roof over me or into the same meeting. But if they, I think I've finished, they've got another thing coming. I didn't want to show me that card, but I'll tell you this. May I never rise from this chair again if I go out of here without seeing what's on that card. You know. What? Mr. Tatlock's just brought this card in. I thought you might like to look at it. Well, she won't know till next week, will she? She's gone to a do up town. I bet she doesn't half spread it out. There's no tight about Elsie. Some of them dresses men look better on the tight side to me. That'll be enough for me and all. Hey, good old Elsie. She'd be good with a bit of brass, you know. She'd be like a kid that's found a new shilling. Ah, you are right there. To be fair, gladdening to watch. Well, uh, where's the Irish Rose tonight? Well, Conceptor, eh? You better ask Annie about that. Oh, no, I was just asking. Annie, come here a minute, will you? 
Oh, well, Jack's been telling me the good news about uh, Elsie Tanner. Isn't it nice, Flora? Yeah, what did you want? Harry was wondering what had happened to her. He doesn't make much of our Billy as a substitute. <laughs> Dear, I couldn't rightly say, Harry. Was it something important? Oh, no, no, I was just asking. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? I'll tell you. No, no, it. don't bother. I mean, can't have a thinking thing. What sort of things? But, you know, just things. Uh, same again, Harry. Uh, yes, please, yeah. Well, I don't think she'll be back before closing time. You see, it's quite a distance she's gone, and she did tell me not to wait up for her. But it's nice to know she's in safe hands, isn't right. it? <laughs> sure, it must be, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm never worried the slightest bit about conceptors. She always makes such nice friends. <laughs> yes, yeah, nice when you know, isn't it? It is, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Yeah, it's a uh, dance on Friday after the going, you know. Oh, I wonder if that's the one conceptor was talking about. Oh, is she fixed up with one then? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't say at all. Conceptor keeps things very quiet. <laughs> you say that again. <laughs> oh, Frank, do stop smoking matches. It's getting on my nerves. Never mind about smoking matches. Look at the time. You should have been here a couple of hours ago. Well, don't carry on about it. I'm not carrying on. I'm just pointing out the facts. Do you think we ought to phone someone? Nay, nee, lass, if someone had gone wrong, someone had did it wrong us up. I got him to put Rover's return number in his wallet. Oh, that's a blessing anyway. Happen it is, but it's not got him here any earlier, has it? You know, if I thought that he got mixed up with some boozing gang, I'll put an end to it. I'll tell you that for nothing. Well, he hasn't, because he's here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, see you. Good oh, up. Yeah. I am late. Late? I'll say you're late. Just look at the time. Oh, well. He's home safe and sound now, Frank. Let it be. Mm. Have you had your tea, dear? Oh, just a little sandwich. Well, I'll cut you another one and put the kettle on. Ta. Well, it's not good enough. Well, what do you expect me to do? Fly? Ah, well, you could have started trying ringing up, couldn't you, at the rover's return? Well, by the time I got anywhere near the telephone, I was practically home. Perhaps you'd like me to take my bike next time. It's only 60 odd miles. I know how far it is. I looked it up on the map. Anyway, we're at home next week. I know. Coming to watch? I might. I might have something better to occupy my mind than just watch you play football. Please yourself. Hey, what have you done to your hand? Caught somebody's boot. It's only a scratch. I see, they're trying to cripple you now, are they? I said that. I wish it'd dry up. Come on, looking forward to telling you all about it. You start carrying on. You know, what do you think we lost? Well, didn't you? As a matter of fact, we won. How many by? Three now. <laughs> they must have been a soft lot. <laughs> oh, well, uh, what as good as us, of course, but uh, well, not as bad as all that. <laughs> yeah, how about that goal you scored? I don't know, it was dead easy, really. It was a sitter. How do you know I scored? It's in paper, lad. Here, oh, here. Yeah. Come here, I'll read it to you. Here. Listen. Counter's defence stood up to heavy pressure in the opening phases of the game. The home team weakened a newcomer, David Barlow. <laughs> he netted in 31st minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't felt like this since the blackout. What do you mean, since the blackout? Oh, never mind. What did you do in the Great War? Hey, me, I were only a toddler. Hey, come to think of it, it weren't even that. I don't mean that one, you daft ape, but I mean the last one. Oh, that one? I suppose you could say I carried on. Yes, I suppose you could say I carried on a bit, too. Never mind, them were the days, eh? You seem to have had a different time to what I had. I should say you were very likely right about that, and all. I did a bit in the land army, but I was glad to get out, I can tell you, all them dark country lanes, proper scary, and it was. Well, dark country lanes are all right, as long as you've got somebody within shouting distance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got chased by a bull once. Oh. I'll never forget it. I didn't know whether to run or stop still and stand where I was. It was an awful experience. I know, just how you felt. I want you to know a fellow once who made me feel exactly the same way. Oh, well, so you do say some awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible woman. You know what they say about me in Coronation Street? That Elsie Tanner, she's as hard as nails. I wonder if they'd have been any different if they'd have had the life I'd had. Two kids to bring up and no father. Must have been awful. Oh, I don't know. In being what he was, it might have been a sight worse if he'd stayed. Sometimes I think I'm a bit too hard on our Dennis, you know. Neither of us were much of an example to him, in, but what can you do? How's Linda? Oh, Linda's all right. You know, she gets along fine. They have their ups and downs, but Anne's a nice fella. Hey, I passed Acres on my way down. You know, that baby shop. When she comes over next week, we're going to have a right beano. Pram, cock, chair, the lot. You know, they've got some smashing things in that shop. Our Amy got a pram at Acres. Yeah. And then we'll have a bit for the house. That's if you'll take it. Oh, is that proud? You won't believe it. Hey, what's it feel like being a grandmother? Ask me when I am one, will you? Well, you're not going to say it's going to worry you, are you? Well, I would if I could take it in right. But right now, I'm in a lovely rosy glow. 
It's as if it's happening to somebody else, you know. <laughs> hey, come on, drink up, girls. We'll all have another. Oh, Thank you. Girls. Don't be so daft. You haven't got it yet. What's the matter with you? Don't you believe me, son? Of course I believe you, but you don't know how much it is yet. You don't think Aunt Dennis would make a mistake like that, What's do up, you? Elsie? Have you come up on the pool? <laughs> if I told you once, I told you half a dozen times. Now, come on, drink up. When you've had this, we'll have another for the roll, Dave. <laughs> you aren't daft. Oh, give it over. I'm enjoying myself. Half an hour in an air raid shelter would take 20 years off my life right now. Do them with the day. <laughs> I'd like one of them new washing machines. Ah, they didn't out like that when I was a lad. They can say what they like, but if you want to get rid of them the right ways it should be got rid of, there's no to be the good dolly to. Hey, I don't believe in hiding it. I went into Claudia Lindley's this morning and I caught her at it. Caught her at what? Sweeping the beets up the, uh, under the rug. Oh, aye, but she takes it out again. Who told you? I saw her. She only puts it there while someone comes in so it won't get scattered. Ooh, she's got you kidding. Ooh, and the things go on in there when them blinds come down at night. You wouldn't believe. What sort of things? Oh, well, if you don't know by now, you never learn. You know, I don't know what the Almighty gives some people eyes for, do you? Because I don't know how to use them. Hey, if you ask me, this business will finish Elsie Tanner that's coming up on the pools. If you ask my opinion, she'll be dead inside 12 months. Oh, Weena, how could you say such a thing? Well, there were a chap up Pots and Pans who came up on first, the third, first division about three years ago. He bought himself a new car. He bought himself a plot of land at the cemetery. He had a new house built outside the town and he married a girl half his age. And within three months, he'd run into a lamppost and she moved in. They buried him. Oh, well, it's a cheerful will and it doesn't blow nobody no good. Still, I wouldn't mind winning a bit myself, though. Oh, what would you do with it, might I ask? Oh, I'd look after my friends, Ina. They'd be my first consideration. Oh, I think you would. But as soon as you don't do the pools, you in the possession to say, are you? Oh, but I do. I have a bob on every week. Do you mean to sit there and tell us that you've been doing them all the week without ever a word? My goodness, I don't know how you have the face. Well, everybody else does well, it. Supposing you'd won. Well, I've told you. I'd look to my friends first. Yes, and when the friends came to look for you, they'd have to look a long way. Mind you, I'm casting no insinuations, but we're all human and like... Well, it's my money. Ah, oh, you're stepping up a bit. You haven't got it yet. Look, what I'm suggesting is that we have a syndicate, you and me and many. Before you say any more, I can find plenty more as well if you won't. I never said I wouldn't. Oh, and see if you're doing them already, you can carry on with it. Well, look, I've got this week's pool here with me. Here, have a look and see... Oh, that's fine. Well, look, if we come up on this, I'll get myself a little bungalow in this one and they can pull sap pulling this lot down at once if they want. I like North Wales myself. Well, I've six months a week each on it, and then we'll all meet on Saturday night at my place to check it up. And while you're at it, you can get me a bottle of stout while I'm studying this. Why can't you look where you're going? If you must know, I'm not so sure where I am going. What time is it? You can see clock as well as I can. That's all you know. It's about half past two. What are you doing up at this time? What am I doing up? I've just got back from work. There's no need to ask where you've just got back from. All right, then where have I got back from? Well, it weren't a temperance meeting. <sighs> I went out last night and got oh, out Oh, spare us that. You are so rude. Yeah, not half as rude as neighbours will be if you carry on like that. Has she gone? Has who gone? That friend of yours to Australia. You're not going tonight, you daft corn cake. Any excuse for a party. You'll be very careful what you say about parties. If it wasn't for a party, you wouldn't be here. I met your father at a party. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I must do something for this head. Where are they? Don't ask me. I don't use them. Well, when you get to my age, you'll be very grateful to use them. Oh, I'm getting past it. Have a look in the mirror for me. Don't be daft. Best thing you can do is get to bed. Yes, I think that's a good idea. You know, I'm ever so glad I was able to pay for a couple of rounds tonight. A couple of rounds for that lot, are you all right? Well, it's a celebration. I mean, we don't come up on the pools every day, do we? Hey, look here. How much do you think you've won? Well, it, it won't be a fortune, but if it's only a couple of hundred, at least... A the... couple of hundred? Are you all right? It'd been out like a couple of hundred. There's 14 draws. Well, what's that got to do with it? What's that got to do with it? If you hadn't been in such a flaming hurry, I'd have told you. Well, how much, then? You'll be lucky if you get 30 bob. 30 bob? <laughs> 30 bob? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>